the best magic tricks in the world. And I'm going to start it off with number one. You see this toothpick right here? Watch this. Boom. It's gone. But you're like, Luke, you just dropped it onto your desk. But no, watch this. Boom. It's back. Boom. It's gone. Boom. I'm going to expose myself right here. Look at that. It's just taped on and you go like that. See, magic tricks aren't how they seem. I used to be addicted to learning magic tricks back in the day, so I'm going to see if I could crack these ones. All right. Okay, you actually have 11 fingers, so... 11 fingers. Okay, wait, let me count. Why would I say count? I have five, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> I don't know why I counted. One, One two, two... Skip these three. Three. Four, ah, five. Come on, man. She just went from one, two, skip these three, four, five. Like Six, seven, You're obviously going to get 11 now. Nine, ten, ten eleven. eleven. Oh, mind blown! See, we cracked the first one already, guys. Okay, we're gonna try and crack as many of these as possible. Let's just check this out. This is crazy. Watch this oh, one. I already know. I've seen this one before. It, like, goes into his skin. Sorry, I'm gonna stop pausing. No oh, way. no! It's actually no inside. Way. No! That's oh disgusting! No way! No. What did you do? That's what? disgusting! I can't get it back on. I'm sorry. Oh, my God. Mind freak. Dude! Yeah, see, that one, I have no clue. Like, unless that person is, like, an actor and not, like, a random person, then maybe they did, like, some special makeup to look like there's a little coin there. Like, that's just freaky, though. Ooh. Oh, it's gonna catch on fire. Watch. I thought he had one of those walls where when you open it, it catches on fire. But no, he has cash. One, two, three, four, five. Five? Okay. You won't take five, will you? It's 12. What is it again? 1259. 12.59. Oh, it's gonna turn into 12.59 now. Roll it around. And then we'll roll in a hundred, another 200, three, four. They turn into 100s? Is that, is that gonna work? <laughs> yeah, see, I don't know. Like now he's laying them out flat. The only way I could see is that when they were bent, it was hiding the 100 somehow by ones. And when he unbent them, he hid the ones and there were 100. That's my best bet. But like, if I were to perform that trick, I would not do it as smooth as he did, so yeah. Here we go. We're going to show you an old school magic trick with some chalk. Ooh, and chalk a and a chalkboard. All I'm going to do is write the word. I just repeated what he said. Cursive. I don't know how to read cursive. Hang on, I'll show my you. My cursive is terrible. I could write my name and that's about it. Yeah. Roos. Rope. Rope. <laughs> that's cursive, folks. Now and now a rope is going to appear. Real right there. R E A L. That's not cursive, folks. Watch. I know, trust you. Here we go. But he's going to shake it and it's going to turn into cursive. No tricky moves. What? You just wrote that. Okay, I might have it. I might know. There's magicians on YouTube who have reacted to this and are like cracking them all. I could, I haven't watched those videos, but I know there's magicians that have reacted to magic tricks. But when I was addicted to it doing magic tricks, this was a long time ago, I would buy magic trick kits and they would have like things made for magic tricks. And I think that's what this is. I have a feeling that it was a chalkboard. And then when he flipped it around, he slid the chalkboard somewhere. I don't know where it went, guys. <laughs> Maybe it slid down to the side, but it doesn't even look like there's anywhere for it to go. And then underneath it was the actual rope. But I'm going to go back and see if his cursive writing was the exact same as where the rope was okay we got the line the line the line line yeah okay actually right here okay you see this little thing how it's like not a straight line we're gonna see if the other one is like that yeah see it isn't there's no space in between well obviously like it's, it's a magic trait it obviously didn't turn into the rope but that's my best guess see like right here he's gonna flip it around boom you right and now they're showing this so your brain is off of the rope and he's doing something behind he's like L. So you can only that's see one hand. He's cursive, grabbing it. Watch. I know. It's just, you're Here we go. Watch. This is cool. Watch. No trick oh, move. that snap of the finger must have done it. What? Yeah. I don't know. That's my best guess. All right. We got Shonda's magic. I'm going to read your mind without saying anything. All right. It's going to be ready. Two plus two. I'm going to guess your birthday. Two plus two is this. Oh, yeah. Here it is. Think of your age. Okay. 19. Oh, crap. I can't do the math. 9 plus 9 is 18 plus 20. 38. Boom. Add 4. 42. Divided by 2. 21. Oh, that was quick. Add 1. 22, yeah. Subtract your age. 19, 20, 21, 22. That's 3. Boom. Okay, I got it. Yep, 3. Ready to read your mind? Time to read your mind. Sorry. I can't read. If I'm right, you have to follow. If you guys got 3, you guys gotta subscribe. How did he know? But if you guys got three, make sure to slap that like button and subscribe for more. But this one isn't even a magic trick. It's like simple math. I've seen tons of these before where it's like, oh, multiply this by 50,000, divide it by a couple, uh, add a couple here, minus a couple here, and you all get the same numbers. Just how the math works. I don't know. Wait, wait. I know your eye color and I'll prove it. Just think you know of my your eye, eye color. color huh? Say it in your head. My eyes used to be bright blue, but now they're, I'd say they're dark blue. Let's, I'll show you. <laughs>
All right, so we got blue eyes. Now, how the heck is he gonna guess what color of eyes I have? Unless it's something like the last one where you like always get the right answer. Well, I mean, you always get the right answer. That's how magic works. I don't know how it works, but it, it works. Now I'm gonna show you a list of animals. Find the animal okay, next blue. to your Octopus. eye color. Okay. Oh my gosh! If you guys watched a couple episodes ago, let's just put it in the clip. They're octagonas. Hey, that's what we're gonna call it. We're just gonna call it antennas. Okay. I got it now. They're called tentacles. All right, so that we got quick. an octopus. You got it. Good. Yes, now, I got on it. Now, one here, I have the animal oh, you're got thinking my color. of, which is impossible, because I don't know you. I don't know what eye color you are, so I can't know which animal you're thinking of. No, you but can't. But if I That's tell right. you, you have to follow me on TikTok and like this video. That's the deal, okay? I swear if it's right, an I'm octopus. I'm going to show you. Let's see if I got it. One, two, three. Wait, no. I was gonna say, that's every animal. Like, that could be an ant. That could be a spider. That could be an octopus. Wait, what? I'm so confused. Let me go back and look at all the answers. Or, okay, no, that does not look like a rhino. I see what he did. So this right here could be a spider, an octopus, and a crab. And look at the other colors. A shark is lavender. But who has that color of eyes? And again, for this one, I don't think anybody has white eyes. If you do, that's like insanely rare, I think, right? And a lion is hazel. See, like that, that's like two colors in one. That has to be rare, too. I mean, I'm sure people do have that. But the majority, he would have got correct. We busted this one too and again look what he says like and follow make sure you guys do the same thank you guys i appreciate it okay this is one too no i haven't even watched the video i'm just predicting what's gonna happen i might as well do the same with this one he's gonna go boom he's gonna do some palm maneuvers it's gonna be stuck in his palm he's gonna be like Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Okay, let's watch one okay wait they might have just did a maneuver there let me rewatch that let me rewatch that okay so one ball is in each hand Let me watch that again. Okay, I should know this, man. Luke, it's because I haven't done magic tricks in like 10 years. No, it's less than that, but a long time ago. They faked it. They faked it. Well, obviously, because you guys just seen what happened. But like, I guess they did trick me because it's like faked it. But you actually still have it in this hand, you know? Okay, I know how you do that. I don't know why I was shocked. It looked cool, though. You actually have the cards in your hands and you're like, and you pretend like they're coming out of your mouth. You're going to pick one of these as I run along the deck. All right. There's two rules. You can't pick the Joker. And no you Joker. Can't pick no the Ace of Spades. All right. Seven. Look for a card in this deck. If I see a seven, I'm picking seven. Did you get one? You see how we've seen 10 for like 50 seconds? And it's like the last one you see two. So the answer is obviously going to be 10. So I'm going to pick another one. Because he went so fast, I couldn't see any other ones. See, look at the 10 is there. Look for a card in this deck. Pause. Two. I'm picking two. Imagine if he gets two. Yeah. Takes off his top hat, reaches inside, and, and pulls it's 11, out or one 10, I mean. playing card. Boom. The 10. See? We cracked this one. We cracked this one too, guys. I'm sorry if you guys don't like me cracking the tricks and you want me to just react to it. It's just like, well, I technically am reacting. I'm like cracking them at the same time. So it's a win-win. Stay till the end and you guys will get another trick from me, okay? I know exactly what you're thinking of. Sounds crazy, but I'm about to read your mind. On this card, I wrote one word and one word only. What I want you to do is think of any word in the world. Elephant. Literally any word at all. Think of it right now in your head. Elephant. Keep that word locked in because I'm about oh, to Oh, it's locked in there. Drum roll, please. Elephant. Bam. Your word. Ooh. Like I said, I wrote your word on this card, so make sure you hit that follow oh, button and like button. That's not even a magic trick. That's just a play on words. But like, it's still magic technically because you got the answer right or the trick right. All right. We got some water. Some... Oh, what's that paper called? Cardboard paper? No. <laughs> ah... I forget. We used to use that in the school all the time for projects. Water's gone. Easy. I got it. I got it. Let's see if he actually dropped it in there or if it was behind into a bucket on his lap. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm a genius. No. Wait, what? No, nah, because look it. It's actually going through and nothing's coming out the bottom. Look it. Yeah, it's not leaking out the bottom. Does he have like a plastic bag in there or something? He must. There must be a plastic bag in there. That's how. Boom. Case closed. All right. Just like I promised. One more magic trick. Boom! We have a cup. I know it just appeared out of nowhere, but watch this. <laughs> I know some of you guys probably got that. Maybe a couple of you guys I tricked. Well, all I'm doing is I tape my thumb onto the back. Ooh. But the real way you do this is with a styrofoam cup. I couldn't find styrofoam cups at my house though. And you punch a hole with your thumb in the back. So you can put your thumb in it. And it's like on the inside, so you hold it up and it's like, woo. But yeah, I actually had a lot of fun in this episode. I don't know why I call it an episode, because it's not like I'm on TV or anything. Well, actually, maybe I'm on your TV. Let me know in the comments below. But anyway, that's going to be for today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to slap the like button, subscribe if you're not already. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.